Amish light their homes in different ways. Propane and natural gas lighting are quite common in Amish homes. You may have this in the form of a mobile unit where it's basically a fuel tank with a pole that goes out of the center of it. And there's like a furniture cabinet built around that and it's on wheels so you can kind of wheel that around to where you need the lighting. You'll also see this with the fixtures actually built into the home. So in the bathroom, you'd have a fixture, you'd have them strategically placed throughout the home where you need light. This is a pretty strong light source. It's pretty bright. The downside is that it generates a lot of heat. I remember visiting Amish homes when I was selling books and I'd go into the home and it would be like later at night and I'd come out of those homes pretty dehydrated. 20 minutes in there sitting under the light can kind of dry out. So quite effective form of lighting that generates a lot of heat. So the more conservative Amish will be using the oil and kerosene lamps. Communities where they do that would be among the Swartz and Trooper Amish, for example. Another example would be the Amish at New Wilmington, Pennsylvania, which is a quite a plain community. Those produce a dimmer light, but also less heat. My friends in Lancaster County, when I lived with them for an extended period of time, if I was out kind of late, they would leave an oil lantern burning on the kitchen table for me when I came home so I'd have something to see by, which was always a nice thing to see when you came back. Amish also use battery-powered lights. They use classic flashlights. They use the kind of heavier-duty DeWalt is the name of the brand of these heavy-duty lights where you've got a battery pack on the bottom and the light unit is actually quite powerful, so it generates a pretty bright light. They often have like a hook on them as well. So they would charge the battery, you know, at night using power created by a diesel generator or it could be solar power. So you may actually come across light switches in some Amish homes. So what's going on there? Well, what's going on there is probably that that home was built by a non-Amish person and then later purchased by the Amish family. It's not connected to public power, but you know they'll leave the light switches in the home. You also may see a place for a light switch in a newly built Amish home. So some Amish will build in like an electric system and have a place for the switch to go. And why do they do that? Well, you know, they're not using it for themselves, but in the case that they end up having to sell their home, that makes it more attractive to a non-Amish buyer. You may see that especially in a smaller or newer community where the community is not so established, so it's not for sure there's going to be a lot of potential Amish buyers if you decide you need to leave. Just to mention, you actually will see quite a few Amish-owned homes that are offered for sale online. You can see they're obviously Amish. Sometimes they're even described as an Amish home or farm. 